and I, I don't know, I do my hair different all the time, but one of my favorite ways to do my hair is to curl it with a straightener. It's really easy, um, it doesn't take that much time, it's easier than a curling iron, and it's kind of a fun technique because you get a lot of different looks, because every time you curl your hair with a straightener, it's never going to come out the same. Some days it'll look super, super curly, some days it'll be a little bit more wavy, and what's great about it is it actually holds for two days. Like, I can curl, curl my hair with a straightener, and, you know, I can wear it today, then I can also wear it tomorrow, and it's still curly, and you don't really have to do that many touch-ups, but if you watch this tutorial, I, I make it pretty easy. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos, and I'm like, how the heck are they curling their hair? I don't get it. I've tried following their instru instructions, and I just feel like other people's way to curl their hair is so much harder. The way I do it, you just kind of clamp, you roll it under once, and then you pull down. It's super easy. Um, as long as you don't have a lot of hair like me, it shouldn't take you that much time. But, um, see, I have, like, super, super massive amounts of hair. So it takes me around 40 minutes, but somebody with maybe um, not as much hair as me, it's taking me around 20 minutes. Um, and then I'll show you what the back looks like. It's just a super pretty kind of fun look. I don't know, I just think straight hair is so boring. And I don't even really like my hair when I'm straight. I really like the way, you know, it looks right now. And, you know, if it's cut right uh, and you do the same technique, it kind of will look like the Kardashian's hair. And everybody loves their hair and wants to get it like that. So, again, if my hair was, you know, a lot longer, like down here, it would look like their hair when I call it a straightener. So I hope you guys like this tutorial and make sure you subscribe and if you have any requests just put them in the down bar and I will see you on the next video. Bye. Wait, why am I saying bye? I'm not going anywhere. No. <laughs> Stay tuned to watch how I did this. I'm a headache. I'm gonna go. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like after I blow dried it straight even with like a towel brush. It's um, super thick and it's really wavy and it's really hard for me to get it really straight. So this is the best that I can come up with to so just blow dye your hair. And then you're going to want to section it off. And I usually do mine in three sections. So this is the first section on top of my head and the rubber band around it. So you are going to take a piece about an inch wide and you are going to take your flat iron. I'm using the Paul Mitchell Pro Tool and it's really good because it has a swivel, whatever, cord so it won't get, you know, all twisted. So you're going to clamp at the top, you're going to pull down about two inches and then you're going to roll the straightener under and turn it going to look like this, and then you're just going to pull down. The slower the better, and then it creates a perfect curl. Um, you can hold it up like this for it to cool off. This will really define your curls. You don't have to. Um, if I'm rushing, I don't, but it just really helps hold the curl in place. And then you're going to take another section, again about an inch, and you want to clamp it. Make sure the straightener is pointing up. You always want to curl away from your face. So you're going to clamp it. You're going to roll it around once. And it's going to look like this. And then you're just going to pull down really slow. And then you're just going to catch the curl and let it cool in your hand. You don't have to, but you can. And then there's another perfect curl. I'm going to do the same exact thing all the way around. So again, you're going to clamp it. You're going to turn it under one complete time. It's going to look like this. And you're going to pull down. And then you have another perfect curl. So keep doing the same thing all the way around. And then when you come to this piece right here, you're going to grab the straightener this way this time, you're going to clamp it, and you're going to flip your hair around like this, and then you're going to pull straight down. 
So the bottom se section is going to look a little something like this. Um, it's not going to really look too cute until we're almost finished. So you're just going to want to throw that part in the back. You are going to start on this side again. Pull your hair out, um, you know, not out of your head, but um, pull it straight into uh, about an inch part again. And then you are going to clamp it, pull it around to make one complete circle, and then just follow the hair down. And you'll probably see some steam. It's fine. My hair is just not dry all the time. Um, so here is another perfect curl. So again, just clamp it, roll it around once, and pull straight down. And again, you have another perfect curl. So keep going all the way around. Okay, so when you get back to this side, again, I'm going to split it. I'm just going to twirl this part up. So you're going to take your piece, you're going to clamp it, and you're kind of going to throw this piece over and just turn the flat iron. Again, so you turned it one complete time, and just pull down. It's going to look more tricky on this side. And there's your curl, and just throw it to the back. And then I'm going to take my last piece. I can find it. I put it somewhere up here. Here it is. So I'm going to take my last piece. Again, you're going to clamp it. You're going to throw it over to the back, back here. And then you're just going to twist this one complete time. And then you're going to pull down. And then you have your curl. Okay, so, so far you should be left with something that looks kind of like this. And you're going to take this hair down. I would film me doing my whole head, but it would take around, I don't know, like an hour. And I don't think anybody really wants to stare at me for an hour. So um, that's why I'm doing it in kind of sections so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I always stick my hair in my mouth to hold it because I don't have 25 hands. So you are going to take a section again, about one inch, and I hold this part in my mouth. Talk with hair in my mouth, but you just keep doing the same thing over and over again. And then you're just going to pull down. And you'll have pretty much now I'm three quarters of the way done. I throw all of it back again. I take the top section. So pretty much this is what you're going to get as your final product. Now if you don't hairspray it and you like the way this looks, some people like when all their curls kind of look like this. I think they kind of look weird and like rat tails. So what I do is I run my fingers through and I separate the curls and it just gives it a lot more body. And then I kind of take my hairspray. I'm using the Garnier Sleek and Shine um, Anti-Humidity. And I just kind of run my fingers like this and I spray it. And I don't spray the top too, too much because I want these curls to kind of fall out a little bit. But all down here, you don't want the curl to become one. So you just want to keep combing through and going like this, and you can even take little pieces and twirl them just till you kind of get the look that you want. Um, you can really play with it, and you don't really have to, you know, wear it to one side, which is good. You can, you know, just comb your fingers through. It's really natural. It's not supposed to look 
super perfect and in place so you can kind of play with it. So pretty much this is how I curl my hair. Again, it looks different every single time I curl it because, you know, when you're curling with a straightener, it's not going to look the same every time. You take big pieces of hair, like big chunks of hair, and then sometimes you take a little bit smaller chunks of hair. So it really is going to look different every single time, um, which is great because you kind of look like you're slipping up your style. Some days my curls will look really loose. Other days they'll be like super, you know, super curly. Um, today they're just kind of wavy, that's what's really great about it. And then I'll show you the back. And the back just looks really nice and um, it looks like you've spent, you know, hours with like a hot roller on your hair. But you really didn't and you just used a straightener. So I hope you guys like this tutorial um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!